So this is the review of the Summer Infant Baby Touch Digital Color Video Monitor, model number 2000Z. On the pro side, it's a very nice design. Uh, here it is. Here's the charging base. And it has a little stand that you can use. And it's got this nice slick screen. Looks like a looks like an iPod. Uh, or uh, iPhone. Here's the power button and okay so there's the screen how you can turn on this has a talk button so that you can actually talk into the machine so that uh, the baby will hear your voice through the camera which I think is a very nice feature in concept but completely practically worthless so that's about where the pro stop is the nice design the cons is, uh, unfortunately, everything else. Uh, I've had this for a little bit less than two years, and it basically just decided to stop wor stop working. Uh, right now is one of the few times it decided that it's decided to work, and so that's why I grabbed the camera so quickly. But um, it it just stops working. I thought it was the uh, the batteries or the the, the charging thing, um, cable or whatever it is, and it's not any of those things. It just decided to stop working, and you know, uh, I don't expect something like this to last forever, but uh, for paying almost $200, it should last longer than two years, and it didn't even do that. And when I called the company, Summer Infants, to see if they can do anything, or replace a part, or repair, or, or something, um, they were about as uninterested, and as unfriendly, and as cold, and customer unfriendly as possible. So, if you buy a summer infant product, and it doesn't work, and it breaks down like mine has, you will be stuck with it, because it'll go just beyond the warranty period of a year, uh, made it to almost two years for me, and then it start to break down. So, that is the huge negative. The other thing is, um, even after about, maybe a little less than a year, um, it just the quality of the f the the screen, frankly, is not very good. Like here, I mean, it's very difficult to tell where the baby is versus the pillow or the blanket. I don't expect HD sharp, super sharp quality. I mean, the baby's room is dark, which is most of the times when you need to see the baby uh, uh, room through the monitor. But we had an incident where the baby, um, our infant son decided to roll himself up in, in the blanket like a burrito. Now, it was loose enough where he was actually okay, as we found out later, but um, uh, it wasn't tight enough where, he had, where it would suffocate him. But still, that's the kind of stuff you want to see on here, and we couldn't tell because you can't tell anything here. What's the blanket? What's the pillow? What's the baby? Um, it's very grainy. It's, it, the picture is, is, is pretty difficult to tell. Um, if you want to switch over, as you saw, it takes a lot of, you can't do it, but it takes a lot of touches to do it. So that, let's say, um, you can see the outline of the bed here, you can actually tell that for once. But let's say in that second room is where you hear a noise while you're downstairs. Well, you got to turn it on, and it's already on baby room one, number one, but you want to see number two. You got to touch and press and all of these things about four times before you get to it. And once you see everything's okay, you want to go back to the first one, you've got to touch four times to go back. I mean, it's very clumsy. The design in that sense is not good. And the touch screen only really works on the side. And it's not as responsive as you think it is. Um, it's just not that great. And also, you can move this camera around, but when you do, I mean, not that you can hear it now, but when you're actually in the baby's room, it's actually surprisingly loud. I mean, it's not super loud, but it's certainly loud enough for our kids to wake up and maybe you know other people's kids are not as sensitive but that's uh, certainly another minus and so um, that's a lot of minuses especially the main one not working after you know less than two years which is really unacceptable for the amount of price that you're paying here I, I know there's a lot more positive reviews on this I mean I don't know what to say uh, I don't know about their experiences except that my experience was not good with this um, and I don't know if those people have had it as long as I have. And so I would certainly recommend that people save their hard-earned money for uh, a better product and a company that actually cares about its customers. Um, so I would definitely skip this one and look for a better product. This is made in China, and it shows.